Welcome to the power plant engineering lecture series number third. In this video, I will explain you hydrology, rainfall, runoff, flow duration curve, and mass curve. So let's start with the first topic, hydrology. Hydrology, uh, the science which deal with rainfall and runoff, is known as hydrology. The evaporation of the water from the surface of river and ocean and its precipitation on the earth is known as hydrological cycle. The distribution of precipitation on the earth's surface and beneath the earth is calculated with the help of hydrological consideration. Uh, next is the uh, hydrological cycle. Uh, this diagram explains you hydrological cycle. Next topic is uh, rainfall. Rainfall uh, is known as precipitation. It is the natural process of converting atmospheric vapors into water. During summer, the evaporation loss from free water surface is considerably large and this evaporated water finds room in the air mass. The water holding capacity of air in the form of vapor is also considerable large in hot weather. When this highly moisture air mass cool down by some mean below the dew point temperature, the water vapor from the air precipitation in the form of water and reaches the earth known as rainfall. Rainfall is in general, general sense is defined as the total condensation of moisture from the atmosphere that reaches the earth including all form of rain, ice and snow. The rate of rainfall is expressed in centimeter of water during a given period of time. Ok so next topic is uh, runoff. Runoff is the remaining water close on the ground surface of the catchment area uh, to the form to the to the form of the steam and uh, is known as runoff next is a uh, factor affecting the runoff the knowledge of the factor affecting the runoff factor 6 of drainage areas in particularly essential when in the absence of steam flow up records uh, the recorded runoff of the neighboring stream is used to estimate the probable amount and distribution of runoff of a stream by a comparison of the relative runoff characteristics of the two water set. The factors affecting the runoff are listed and described below. Rainfall pattern. The runoff is more in the rainfall is heavy. The runoff increase more rapidly with increase in rainfall because the time allowed the for evaporation and precolation losses is small when the intensity of rainfall is high. If the duration of the rainfall is more, the runoff will also be prolonged because the salt tend to become saturated and lower the rate of seepage and humid, humid atmosphere slows evaporation. Next is a character of catchment area. The topography shape its uh, vegetal cover and nature of the surface and subsurface geology have a great influence upon the runoff characteristics of the catchment area. The steep and rocky surface give more runoff. Third is the shape and size of the catchment area. Large catchment area give more runoff. The runoff at a point A is more than the runoff at a point A as in the figure uh, even the catchment area of both is the same. The reason for this is obvious from the figure itself. Next topic is hydrograph. Hydrograph is defined as the graph showing discharge runoff of flowing water with respect to time for a specified time. The time period for discharge hydrograph may be hour, day, week or month. The discharge may be meter cubic per second, kilometer square centimeter per hour or day second meter. 
डिस्चार्ज हाइड्रोग्राफ्स आर नोन एज फ्लोड और रन ऑफ हाइड्रोग्राफ ईच हाइड्रोग्राफ हैज़ अ रेफरेंस टू ए पर्टिकुलर रिवर साइड द कॉमन नेचर ऑफ हाइड्रोग्राफ इज शो इन द फिगर एस यू सी इन द फिगर एक्स एक्सिस इज द टाइम एंड द वाई एक्सिस इज द डिस्चार्ज इन मीटर क्यूबिक पर सेकेंड एंड दिस इज द ग्राफ एट द टॉप दिस इज द क्रस्ट एंड लेफ्ट साइड इज राइजिंग लिम एंड द राइट साइड इन फॉलिंग लिम नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज फ्लो ड्यूरेशन कर्व अ रीअरेंजमेंट ऑफ ऑल द स्टीम फ्लो एलिमेंट ऑफ हाइड्रोग्राफ इन ए डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर इट इज सिमिलर टू द लोड ड्यूरेशन नाउ वट इज द लोड ड्यूरेशन कर्व अ रीअरेंजमेंट ऑफ क्रोनोलॉजिकल लोड कर्व इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर दिस इज द लोड ड्यूरेशन कर्व एंड वट इज द क्रोनोलॉजिकल लोड कर्व इट इज द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ लोड इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर दिस इज द क्रोनोलॉजिकल लोड कर्व दिस इज द ग्राफ फॉर फ्लो ड्यूरेशन कर्व इन द एक्स एक्सिस प्रेजेंटेज ऑफ टाइम और इवन वी कैन से मंथ्स और नेक्स्ट इन द वाई एक्सिस रन ऑफ इन मीटर क्यूबिक पर सेकेंड दिस इज द ग्राफ फॉर फ्लो ड्यूरेशन कर्व and uh, at the middle uh, it is the average flow uh, this line dotted line represent the average flow so this is the graph for flow duration curve next topic is the uh, mass curve uh, the graph of the cumulative values of uh, water quality run off against time is known as mass curve a mass curve is an integral curve of the hydrograph which express the under area under the hydrograph from one time to another mathematically it can be expressed uh, v equals to integration t1 t2 q t dot pt v is, here is the volume of runoff q t is the discharge in meter cubic per second as a function of time mass curve uh, as you show seen in the figure it represent the mass curve if the uh, rainfall is uniform throughout uh, the air the mass curve would be a straight line having a uniform slope so uh, this figure define the mass curve in the x axis we can carry a uh, months and uh, in the y axis quantity in second meter so this is the graph for mass curve